What's up guys, it's a new day in the shop. And we got a little side project going on today. Let's show you what we got going. All right, so what we got today, it isn't specifically fabrication, but it is fabrication related. It's gonna make the way we run things around the shop here better. It's gonna make it easier. So I'll just show you guys what we got going. So I've bought some eight foot two by 12s here. Got some half inch by five and a half concrete anchors, wedge anchors, red heads, whatever you wanna call them. Got some three inch number eight grabber screws got some 3 8 rebar and we got some sacks of concrete so what I'm gonna do the yard out here is an absolute disaster because I'm trying to get all this stuff situated right now so I'm gonna move this trailer I'm gonna move this the dumpster all this stuff's gonna get moved and then those pallet racks that are sitting on the trailer I'm gonna put them right here but you've got to have a decent base to set those on and normally you mount those to concrete. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to build some footings for them so that they can be stable and I don't ever have to worry about them tipping over or sinking or settling or any of that fun stuff. We're going to build our boxes out of these. So they're going to be 5 feet long, 12 inches wide. And then I am going to put rebar in them. And once they're all set up, I'll be able to drill and anchor each upright piece into a footing and we should be good so the whole purpose of putting these pallet racks in is so that I can stack my plate out there on the rack that way I won't have to store it here in the shop it's not going to be in the way out there it's organized it's out of the way and it's also utilizing the little bit of space that I have outside there so that's the plan so we'll go ahead and we'll start cutting these down I'm gonna cut six pieces five feet long and then the end pieces, I'm just gonna run wild and we'll go ahead and screw those together. Once we get the boxes all built, I'll give you guys a look. And then we've gotta go out and see what kind of dirt work we've gotta do to make sure that they're all level. I am gonna add some more gravel out there so I don't care if they stick up a little bit because we're gonna bring in more gravel and they'll end up getting partially buried anyway. So that's where we're at. We'll go ahead and start putting these together We'll give you guys a look once we get them thrown together. guys we got our boxes built you see I just got them stacked on top of each other here so we got those all built they're ready to get put in and then get our concrete stakes up we do have to level them I've also got to figure out where I want them to go here I think I'm probably gonna push it a little closer to the camp trailer so the next thing we'll do is we'll start cutting our rebar and getting it all put together and ready to go so we'll have two strands of rebar on two layers so four sticks of rebar and they'll be tied together on either end but I did want to put some rebar in them because I don't want them cracking and breaking and falling apart 
So that's probably as far as I'm going to get tonight. I got a birthday party I got to go to. So we'll probably pick back up tomorrow where we left off today and we'll go from there. All right, so hopefully the wind doesn't screw up our audio too much. It's a little breezy today, but I just wanted to show you guys where we're at. Is we're laying out where the footings are going to go. So we'll have one here. We'll have one here. And then we'll have one here. So we'll go through and I'm going to level it first, set up our stakes and our string line so that we know how deep we've got to go. Now I'm going to have to pull the string across the ground up here. There's a good chance we may not even dig at all because I'm bringing more gravel in because this is starting to get low and it just is getting packed into the ground. So I'm going to pull a string across that over this way and see what the distance is. There's a good chance that we just need to clean this up a little bit and set our footing there. And you know, they'll be a little bit different because it slopes this way. So we may have to dig this one down a little bit, but I'm pretty sure that one down there. We'll just have to see what the string line shows, but we just wanted to show you guys what we're doing. So we'll go into time-lapse mode. We'll get all this jazz done and then we'll come back and show you where we're at. I've evaluated everything I don't like how it's just like dirt I don't like how there's no base under it it's been my experience you need four to six inches of some sort of a base whether it be gravel road base crusher finds something like that underneath it compacted soaked down to keep the concrete from cracking and moving. So I just know that if I pour it on this dirt without a base underneath it, it's just gonna, it's gonna crack, it's gonna settle, it's gonna move, and I'll be pissed off about it. So I'm just gonna go ahead and wait. I'm gonna see if I can't get some crusher finds in here within the next couple days and get that put in, soak it down. I'll roll it with the forklift. I'll get one of them walk behind compactors see if I can see if I can get it compacted to the point where I'm not worried about that so that's where we're at so I'm kind of at a standstill with this now I just it's one of those things where you got to do it right if you don't do it right you're gonna be regretting it later on so we'll give you an update when we get back to where we can do something with it all right guys what's going on it's been a few days but we did get the gravel put in. I had to get the gravel hauled in here and then I had to go around a skid steer to get it all spread out. So you can see we've got that done. This is actually crusher fines, so it's a little bit finer than what I went with last time. The first lift that I put in here was road base and it compacted good and hard, but it ends up sinking in the ground. It gets tracked other places. Now that there's a good base, I brought these crusher finds in here and they do end up compacting and getting hard. And they stay, typically I think they stay a little smoother. So it's not quite as bumpy. So we're gonna hose this down and we're gonna probably run a plate compactor over it, but that's where we're at. So now that the gravel's in, it's me and the inspector out here today. You say hi. I'll oh, quit being shy. Say hi. 
okay while he's being bashful so I've got three dots marked out where each of the footings needs to go so I'm gonna start digging we're a lot higher here so I'm gonna dig down and I'm gonna set the first one right there then I'm gonna run a string line this way off of that one and we'll level off of this one so that's the plan so this isn't going to be real exciting for you guys so i'm going to go into time lapse mode i'll dig this out and we'll get this one set in there and get stakes set up run string lines and then we'll give you guys a look before we do anything too important Alright guys, I'm going to show you what I got done. It's taken me pretty much all day, but I did get these formed up. Ran a string line across the back. See, we got Gray Gray helping us. Did you help? Did you help? What are you doing? <laughs> say hi. Hey. Yeah, say hi. Did you help me? Huh? Did you help me? Did you help me do this? He's not having it. So here's what I got. Squared everything off that string. Checked corner to corner to make sure they were all square. They're level this way and this way. It's probably part of the reason it took me so long is because I'm so anal, but I got it. So. We did run a string line here. So I think we're, we're good. They're all set, they're square, they're level. All I've got left to do now is rebar. So I'm gonna go ahead and build some rebar cages. I'll get those set down in there. And then I bought some sackcrete, but man, I really don't wanna mix that by hand. So I'm thinking about maybe having one of these. We're, they're building some houses just up above me here and I'm thinking about having them just add on half a yard for me. It'd be a lot faster. So when I get the rebar all done, I'll give you a look at that. And when I get the mud poured, I'll give you a look at that as well. So that's where we're at. I'll give you guys an update when we get a little further. Stay tuned. All right guys, I wasn't gonna show this, but I think it might be helpful to somebody, so I'm gonna show what I'm doing here. So, I'm building my cages for my footings at a rebar, and I thought, you know what, instead of cutting all these and wiring them together, I'm gonna break them into two sections, and then I'll cut some crossbars, I'll weld it all together, drop it in and hang it with wire. So. Let me show you how I'm doing this. So I want to be about seven inches wide. Just using a paint marker here. So I'm marking seven inches. Okay, and then from seven inches I'm going 50. Then another seven. Then another 50. And then I'll show you how this ends up. Got my first band, now I'm gonna slide it through, go to my second band. I'm looking through the break and making sure that it's standing straight up. Okay. So then I pull it out of the break, I flip it around. This one is really the only one that's really tight. And again, I'm just watching this and trying to eyeball it where level is. One left. Okay, so they're not perfect, but now I take them over to the vise, I tweak them a little bit, and they're ready to go.
Okay, so there's what I'm left with. Then I can just take and weld this up. And you can see I got a nice rectangle piece. I'll have two of these per footing, and then I'll tie them together with some crossbars. Done. I just wanted to show you guys that. So I'm gonna go ahead and get the rest of these wrapped up. I've got four more to do, and then I'll start cutting some crossbars. I'll give you guys a look once I get one built. All right, what's up guys? Got the rebar in. So, we're ready to pour some mud. So, I'm gonna go ahead and mix up the first one, see how it goes. I do have some bag mix here. I've already bought it, so I might as well use it. So, grab the wheelbarrow and a shovel and see if I can't burn a few calories. Alright guys, so we got one of these done, turned out good, I went ahead and ran an edger on it because I like the rolled edges, just gives it more of a finished look. So we'll go ahead and strip this now and once we get it stripped we'll give you another look. Okay guys, we got it all graded out. There's one down. Turned out pretty good. Only had a couple small spots with honeycomb, but that's okay. It's a footing, so one down. We got these two to go. That really sucked doing it by hand, having to mix eight bags in a wheelbarrow. I am still gonna see if I can't get over where they're building these houses over here and see if they have some leftover or if I can just have them add on a quarter of a yard for me so we'll see what happens I'll keep you guys posted just wanted to give you guys a look at the process probably not gonna run through the same process with you on these two once we get them all done and I get to the point where I can install the racking then we'll give you guys an update on that so stay tuned what's going on guys want to give you guys an update on our pallet racking footings situation got the other two of these poured that one's been sitting for a couple weeks so we're gonna go ahead and get these finished today we'll probably give them a day or two to cure and then we'll go ahead and start mounting our pallet racking up which I am absolutely ecstatic about because I'm tired of all this stuff being in the way. So I'm gonna throw a bunch of crap away and I'm gonna stack all my pallets of steel, clean up the yard here. I have minimal parking space, so it sucks when I get all these pallets in the way. So just wanted to give you guys an update. Uh, the other thing I wanted to give you guys an update about is I haven't been uploading videos consistently lately like I have since I started the channel and I'll tell you guys why. Uh, I recently got demonetized by YouTube and the reason that I got demonetized was because I hadn't logged into my AdSense account in six months which they don't really tell you that so because I hadn't logged in they closed my account well when they close your account you're not getting paid it's tough for me to justify running a business filming the video editing the video posting the video 
if I'm not getting paid anything for it. So that's why I haven't been uploading. I'm waiting until possibly my account gets started back up. Um, there is a good chance that if you are seeing this, then I have started posting videos again and I am monetized again. So hopefully that's the way it goes. I guess we'll see. We got the helper out here today. You say hi. You got your hammer? Hey, say hi. Yeah, say hi. Come on, say hi. Hey, be nice. Hey, say hi. Hi. Okay. So that's the scoop. I just wanted to give you guys an update and let you know I wasn't not posting just because I got sick of it. It's because they demonetized me and I can't really justify doing it if I'm not getting paid at least for a little bit of my time. The business has always come first for me. So YouTube comes second. Anyway, that's the update. We'll give you guys another look at the pallet racking and the footings once they cure and once we start getting them all set up. So we'll catch you guys then. guys so as you can see we got it pretty well done we're still gonna anchor it down but we got everything set up I wanted to make sure once I got it set up everything was centered up we did pretty good getting our feet centered up on the footings I'm gonna check these for level and then we'll go ahead and get some anchors in these and I am a little curious I want to put a level on this and see how level I got it so I'm gonna grab a level right now and check it all right, moment of truth. We're gonna find out what kind of concrete guy I am. I'd say that's a A minus. That's an A plus. I like it a lot. Me and Bridger are gonna go ahead and get these drilled and anchored. We'll get a little video of that and we'll show you that. And then we'll give you one last look. You can see I got my plate stacked up on here. So I'll be able to organize all my plate I've got 3 8 plate here, I'll be able to do half inch, 1 inch, 8 inch, quarter, 14 gauge, that's basically the main sizes that I use, and I'll be able to keep it all organized. The good news is, it'll still get a little wet, but it is covered, and if I've got to burn some or cut something out, I bring it in the shop, hit it with a flap disc, and we're rolling, so, alright. Me and Bridge are going to go ahead and get these anchored and then we'll give you guys another look. guys it's a little dark because we're just getting it finished up but we did get our anchors in come over here everything turned out good so me and bridge got them all anchored everything looks good I am gonna clean up the gravel we did get a couple of our pallets of plate up here and I'm sure we'll end up filling it up as time goes on but there's a lot of this other crap I just I got to get rid of it I need need the space here to park equipment and stuff 
for customers. So this was a good option for me to be able to stack stuff, get it out of the way. So that's going to wrap this one up. Uh, like I said before, a lot of this is construction type stuff. So it may not be specifically fabrication, but I do think it applies because this is something that you are going to see quite frequently at a fabrication shop. I hope it was helpful to somebody. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Thanks for watching. Remember to like, subscribe, and share. And I'll see you on the next one.